Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is more like a shop with me type of vlog. It is a Thursday and it's around 4.30 right now. I got off work and on my way home, I'm thinking I'm going to stop by Barnes and Noble and take a look at some books. There's definitely a couple of books that I have in mind that I've been wanting to get. Oh, I want you guys to come along with me and let's just go have fun. I'm actually starving also, so I might just grab a burger <laughs> before I get home. But for now, let's go check out some books. I waited all my life for someone like you to show. Now that you're mine, it's so hard to take things slow. Oh, don't wanna wait another day, don't wanna fire to fade to glow. We're going under the weather, harder than ever, higher than high we go.
Just hope that we're still okay. You always pick me up and let me down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. And if we do, then do okay, you guys, so I just got home and it's 6 30. So that's how long I was at Barnes and Noble. But there was also traffic coming home not that much but anyway so i did get some books and um i'm gonna show you those after i get home i also had some coffee and a croissant because i was really hungry but yeah so i'm gonna go home eat some actual dinner and then i'm gonna show you what i got And we had a little bit of relaxing time. Me and Tessie baked some cookies. Actually, she did all the baking. <laughs> I just put the oven on and watch her do it and enjoy her delicious cookies. They're actually more like cake cookies. She saw this recipe and she wanted to try it. And they turned out so good. Oh my goodness, I have so many. <laughs> but anyway, so I wanted to share with you the books that I got uh, from Barnes & Noble. So first, let me tell you, I've had such a week. I had such a long week and... Uh, work has been really busy and on top of that my video editor is giving me problems so just a lot of things <laughs> happening a little bit of shopping therapy and that always helps right always always <laughs> so also i received a package from amazon today from another book that i bought um so you can tell i've been stressed it's either books or scrapbook paper but i have scrapbook paper piled up because i haven't had a lot of time to craft this week because i've been super busy and on top of that i feel like i'm getting like sick i don't know but yeah i've been feeling a little bit weird okay so now let's get to the books that i bought now all these books that i got i'm wanting to get and since i was there and i decided to treat myself i say why not but then i'll show you the two books that i actually went for i'm gonna show you those First. So the first one here is the Midnight Library. Now this is a book that I've been wanting for so long and I finally decided to get it. Um, and it is on my TBR for this year. I don't know exactly when I'll be reading it. Like I want to read all these books today but obviously it's not gonna happen. So this book is about this girl who decides to take her life and at midnight she can't um, relief through a book like any of the stories that um, she picks she kind of experiences and she lives through the book and then I think it's kind of like making her discover which life she would have liked to have this sounds so interesting to me how she can experience um, different books and different lives and yeah I'm excited to read it. I'm actually going to be adding a list of the books that I am showing you on the description box because the last video that I did um, I didn't do that and a lot of you were asking me so I'm going to go back and add it as well. Um, so that is the one that I went for um, and then yeah I'm sorry about my hair and my face because if I look tired it's because I am. <laughs> so this next book that I have here is Station Eleven and this book talks about this flu that kind of started this pandemic so sounds already very familiar and so I'm really interested to see I know it's probably a little bit of a trigger to read this type of book when we are in the middle of a pandemic but I just really like that type of stories like even before the pandemic started like i don't know why i really like all those type of books about like the end of the world type of thing or 
pandemics or you know like i don't know but anyway so i'm very interested on the story of this book so this is probably one of the books that i'm gonna pick up sooner than later because i'm so interested on this so the next book that i have here is son of achilles and this is by madeline miller and i again have heard so many reviews about this book this is such a romantic heartfelt book i feel like I'm going to be crying when I read this book, but I'm super excited, <laughs> super excited about crying. Um, I have never read like a romantic book and I think it's a romantic book. It says a tale of gods and goddesses, kings and queens, immortal fame and the human heart. So I don't know. It just sounds so good and so beautiful. So definitely want to read really, really soon. Now I just need to like quit my job and read more books. <laughs> so this next book that I have here is The House of Salt and Sorrows and this book is by Erin Craig and this is a book about these sisters. There are 12 sisters and then some of them start getting sick and they start dying so one of the sisters start ha starts having visions that their sister's death were not was not accidental so then she starts to investigate and look at clues to see what actually happened to her sister so that seems really really interesting to me and then also i think it has a little bit of a historical fiction to it which i always love <laughs> historical fiction novel so i'm really excited to read this book so the next book that i have here is the girl who drank the moon i have heard amazing reviews about this I think it's absolutely beautiful magical it's about this girl luna and she accidentally drinks the moon and on her 13th birthday she discovers that she has magical powers and so yeah so i'm very interested about this story and then also i know my daughters are gonna love to read this book as well and the cover is just so pretty okay so this next two books i have already actually shared with you this one here this is the chain of ireland by cassandra claire i shared this on my last uh book haul but little did i know this was book two of a series so i went ahead and i purchased book one which is the chain of gold now I did a little of research about this book because I have been so intrigued about all the reviews that I have seen and you know I haven't been watching like the vlogs about it because I don't want to spoil the book for myself so this collection of books is called the shadow hunter world so if you know <laughs> more about this than me uh, please tell me do I have to read the whole trilogy because I think there's three trilogies that are part of the Shadow Hunter world or can I just read these two books for entertainment because I don't know how deep I want to go in the history but now I'm really intrigued about it I really want to read all these anyway books. so let me know if you follow this series let me know what do you think I've never read um, like fantasy books and I'm really excited to give this a go so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to wait. And now let me show you what I got here on my Amazon little package. So this is a book that is on my TBR to read. And I have been looking for this cover because of course you know that different editions have different covers and whatnot. So this is the one that I really wanted. And oh my gosh, this is gorgeous look at this so this is the jane airy um by charlotte bronte and oh my goodness oh, this is so pretty this is exactly what i wanted so as you know i kind of want to do a whole mini album just about this book so <laughs> because i think this cover is stunning i absolutely love it let me show you the back so this actually opens up like that and are you ready look at the back isn't this gorgeous oh my gosh yes so this is a classic of course so i want to like kind of extend my classic my classics <laughs> collection as i mentioned before i used to read a book and then donate the book or borrow the books from the library and then turn them back we were big library goers <laughs> and now the things are 
not opening kind of want to build my own little library and i'm getting a lot of books i get it but <laughs> but i kind of want to have options for books that i want to read and i definitely will be reading all these books um sooner or later i'm definitely gonna have to add some more books to my list and i'm going to be choosing which books i'm gonna read for april kind of want to do at least two books a month i was able to finish almost finished two books this month and I'm halfway through my third book so I think two books a month it's something doable for me like I said I don't want to stress about how many books I read I just want to enjoy each book if it takes me longer it takes me longer if it takes me you know if I'm super motivated and I eat the whole book in a day actually that never happened to me I think the cover is Stunning. So maybe I'll move this up <laughs> my list of books to read because just the cover gets me so inspired and so excited to get to. So anyway, that is my uh, book haul for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Let me know which books you're reading. Also, please let me know. I have been given this um, a little bit of thinking and I'm not sure yet if I should keep the book hauls and the book reviews and the book tbr on this channel let me know if that's something that you'll be interested on uh, watching as well i know this channel is mainly about my blogs and i haven't really ever done like book videos like this so this is definitely something new but like i said i want to kind of share all the things that i kind of love on this channel but i just don't want to have too much book content so i'm trying to think if i should keep that on this channel or if i should like maybe just open a separate channel for this uh which i don't know i'm still thinking about it because keeping up three channels it seems a little bit too much but we'll see it's always fun um i just don't want to i want to hear what you think if you feel like maybe this is not the type of videos you want to watch Maybe I could put it on a separate channel or maybe you want to watch a little bit of everything. Some books, some home decor, some vlogs. Just like I said, lifestyle. I have many layers <laughs> and I want to share them with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back really soon with a vlog. So tomorrow it's Friday. Oh, thank God for Fridays. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Love smelling my books. <laughs>